uh, your your city wide hallucinating nation channel channel 347 coming to you from money meat eviction daily um take seven and i might go take eight you know depending on how thick i sound you know from one moment to the next sometimes i let it go um i'm doing just a quick one on one one world rule the idea that a certain elected council should be elected to rule the world you know they're elected uh, from everybody so the wise council as it were and I have a belief in inalienable sovereign rights of everybody that's we're all unique that's the sovereign in our own rights and it it's it, it opposes you know uh, point blank democracy the idea of democracy doesn't fit with sovereignty it's impossible it's incompatible the two are incompatible sovereignty you are king of your own land um, you know I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a nursery rhyme on um, like a few nursery rhymes and one of them was Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall the king's sources and all the king's men you couldn't pull Humpty together again and the story the background the story came from um, you know the roundheads was it the roundheads who the royalists and the parliamentarians I mean you know it was the royalists and the parliamentarians like was that the roundheads I don't know doesn't matter Baba uh, <laughs> that's another one uh, and um, the point being that here's the two the two sides of the same same coin right the parliamentarians and the royalists and the royalists coming back to sovereignty were those who believed in sovereignty but not the right kind of sovereignty this isn't the right kind of sovereignty and the the wrong kind of sovereignty still exists today hey didn't you just know it? the queen of the world was queen elizabeth ii she is the biggest landowner in the whole world and you know retired from politics what a better life can you have um that's what we have we have sovereignty based on on one royal royalty which is sovereign around the world and that's the wrong kind of sovereignty the sovereignty that there's one ruler for all that's kind of hidden even though it's true uh, what happened was the parliamentarians decided to give you democracy which is equally as nuts because it takes the idea of sovereignty completely away from the individual and hands it to a representative and what do you have? You have a representative of what systems do we have choices in? You know, can we make choices of the kinds of systems we believe in? Well, you might have done a few were around, you know, a hundred years ago when the idea of it all popped up and displayed itself and we had a quite clear distinction as to what the differences were. Today, there ain't no differences. They're all the same, basic system. And so, you know, on history alone, there is a point in reference. You have you have a system which has evolved into less of a choice than it used to be when it began. And um, they're both wrong. What I'm saying is they're both wrong. They don't, they both don't understand what true individual sovereign rights are, which are everybody's sovereign rights. You know, everybody's, including me, believe it or not. And, um, well, you know, some people might not think so. And, you know, you, you kind of get that sometimes when uh, you are trying to argue the case for sovereign rights. People don't really get it because people have this thing about being led, you know. They want to be led. And honestly, if you were a true leader, why would you want to lead anybody who couldn't lead themselves? Because you understand what it is. It's the most, you know, stupid paradox ever. You, you don't want to lead people who don't know how to lead themselves. That's leading, leading the blind. You know, where to? Well, you know, you could lead them anywhere. They don't know. They don't know what leadership is because they can't lead themselves. So they ask someone to lead them for them. Well, you know, this is the true paradox. You've got to talk it through because it's, the, it's totally meaningless when you, when you really come down to what true suffering rights are, which are everybody's right upon this earth for living on. Everybody who was born to it. 
and instead what we have is a two veil system which is like you know one was corrupt to start with then they kind of pile another corruption on top of it and you think it's gone but it's not it's actually the one that's still there in the beginning it's like the royalists are still true and they marry in with the religion that came along with Christianity that still sits in the Vatican which is still true they're all still there displaying themselves as the richest and they are the richest and it's like this is in your face it's the wrong kind of democracy and it's the wrong kind of royalists and you're enslaved everybody's enslaved point blank why because they think that we're living in a world we're not because they'd be programmed to think we're living in a world we're not anyway so that was the, that was the uh, topic today um, trying to, I'm just trying to get people to get the idea of what sovereignty is sovereign rights which you know there is there is comment of it in the first Magna Carta writing the first one which then got dropped and then that got dropped but that was the true one and it was about inalienable rights of every individual and they twisted it you know, if you wake up to the idea that, you know, um, the democracy we have, have had, is, is like, truly run by those people you would have elected, had you known that was the best thing. The best thing that could happen is that that becomes true, that the, there is an election of some individuals who are put forward as the one world. Because it's better than what you've got now. It's one step better. It's not the answer, but it's one step better because now you've got the same thing, but they don't tell you that. There's about nine families, probably, who rule the world. And they're unelected. They're not even known because they're hiding behind democracy, which they gave you through the parliamentarians who are the landowners. And they conned you into thinking you had a right to vote for someone else to represent you when you, when that's not what sovereignty is. Sovereignty is that every issue you have is taken up. And the only real way you can do that is by living in a community where people in it talk about the issues that come up with them alone, no one else. Those people who choose to live in this way and, you know, in this world, it's, it's a move away only. This, this, we're not talking about total freedom. We're just talking about a move towards it. Because there needs to be some kind of transition from the world that you're moving from and going to. And you can only do it in a place where you can get the conversation going on it freely, without rules, until you decide as a group, organically, to, to, to do something which happens but you have to give it time so you can't deprogram until you make that move to talk and live with a community of other people that uh, well you decide amongst you what's right and wrong yeah and it's like because you're with them you know everybody you get to trust or not trust that's how everything works underneath. And if you think it doesn't connect up with the world, then, you know, prove it. Prove it doesn't first, because you haven't proved it doesn't until you've proven it doesn't. So you have to try it to prove it doesn't, because it does connect with everything. You don't need 12 or any leaders governing the world. Ever. But that's one step better from what you have now. You have to start seeing the layers of the layers. You got to start seeing the layers of deceit, misinformation, and around the system that you live in. Everybody, we all, me included. But I've chosen to live in a, in a place where you know the potential exists to actually start talking to people in ways that couldn't be out there because we're trying to disentangle ourselves from 
Babylon, which is, you have to do. <laughs> if you're still paying the gas, that's Babylon, man. You're still paying the gas. Get my meaning. 10, 11. <sighs> Music's coming later. You know, music. Wait for the music. Because the music's going to change everything. That's coming. 